Okay, we're here at the boatyard in Eureka. There she is, right in front of us. Our pretty little boat. Hi, Meg. Yeehaw, long trip. It's been a while. It smells good. Something on the floor there. Oh, it's the. Smell like boat, Caleb? Hi Meg, we're back, we're back Meg, Caleb's first time on Meg, what do you think Caleb, huh, it's pretty, pretty small, it's pretty small, <laughs> it is pretty small, I think, might be the, oh no here's the spinnaker, that's the spare main, which, I don't know how good it is. Brr. It is cold this morning. these before but they are a handy little deal for lighting a stove quick have this put it in the middle there and I use these fire log things Kindling. In there. Then I have some charcoal that I add a few pieces to so that it will last a little bit longer. This little Dickinson heater doesn't last a really long time or anything, but it heats this boat up in about a couple minutes. <laughs> So it's worth uh, it's worth just heating the boat up, and then you can add little stuff if you want. But it stays warm for a little while. It's not winter here, it's spring. So so once I get it warmed up, and, I, and then I turn on the propane and I start making my coffee, that warms up the boat too. So right now this will just take the, take the edge off. Pretty nifty. And that little fire lock thing will burn for a little while. If you leave this stove all the way open though, with the flue open and the bottom open, it burns whatever you put in there, it burns it up really fast. So now I add a few pieces of charcoal in there. Just toss a few pieces in. One thing to note is you notice I haven't opened up any hatches or anything yet. You want to do that pretty soon. Or you know you could die. <laughs> you gotta have some airflow through here because there isn't any forced air coming in. So now I can start closing this down. It's going good enough. Let me have a look here. Pretty good. I, I burn it before I go to bed, but then I never go to sleep with it burning. And one of the nice things about it burning out fast is you don't have to worry about 
you know, oh, I'm going to be here, fall asleep, and it's still going to be burning two hours later. Now, if you're going somewhere where you really need uh, heat all the time, this is not the answer because it's not safe, I don't think. I, I'm, somebody may comment on that if you know better than me. I know that uh, there's no, this boat's closed up. It's a little North Sea 27 with tight seams, tight hatches. You know, it's going to burn up uh, all the oxygen in here. And it's a small boat, so um, if you were, if I was cruising this all the time in the Pacific Northwest or something, you'd have to have something like a diesel heater or a propane heater with airflow, you know, air intake. Um, oh man, I feel the heat now. It's warm in here. It's totally snugged it up in here. So now I can let that go and I can start to make my coffee, which makes me nervous. Ooh, that's nice and warm now. I opened the hatch. And now... Save this and light it from there. If I want to light the other burner, which I think I will, I'm gonna make an egg sandwich. This is my little French press that uh, I got from Starbucks. So I I like the French presses on the boat. Works really well, but. Every one I've ever had has a glass carafe, and inevitably they break. I mean, I had the last one for a week, and Benny was here with me on the boat. And he, he was going down to clean it, slipped through his hands. So this one's from Starbucks, and it's plastic. You don't want to try and obviously get it near the heat, but if you keep it separate, it works great. It's also got a locking lid that closes off. You have to push the button to pour. So it's really a great uh, French press. All right, so I've got my coffee water heating up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fry up an egg and make an egg sandwich. This has this great little refrigerator down here. It's pretty cool. There's no, no refrigerator. It's actually an ice box right now. Uh, I'm going to put a refrigerator in here, like a, a compressor. I'm going to put it down there. And I got these Hawaiian brioche buns. They're so good. One of the things living on a boat, you learn how to just put stuff away. Um, and on a smaller boat, it's even more important as you're cooking or whatever. Just you put your stuff away as you go. Instead of letting it all pile up, you don't have the space for that. So, oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells so good. Bun on there for a second. Nice. My ham on that one. Yeah. Leave the egg out. I'm gonna do two eggs. Okay, that's ready. 
toasted. And some salt and pepper. Some cheddar and and yeah, we lived without a refrigerator on our other boat for years. You do not have to worry about Miracle Whip out of the refrigerator for quite a long time. So here's my breakfast sandwich. Pretty quick. So now, my beautiful daughter loves flavored coffee, so I still have some of them left from our trip down here from San Francisco. So I'm, um, they're not, it's not super fancy coffee, but it's pretty yummy. So you take this French press, a little scoop. And I do two scoops in the French press. One. I don't need to count to two for you. I do heaping spoonfuls there. Close this up. And if I've timed everything right, should be about ready to Pour that stuff in. Yep, there she goes. She's boiling. Let it boil for a second. Flip that off. Turn off my LP. Whoa. Pour that in there. Leave about an inch at the top. Use my trusty match that I use to light it when I turn the other end and I stir that. Then you want to let that steep. Take this, put it on here, close that, and I'm going to set that aside now for about, I don't know, a few minutes, four or five minutes maybe. All right. This little table is really cool. I don't know if you have seen these on North Seas, mm -hmm. but. Overflowing sandwich there. My coffee. Coffee cup. Got some V8 juice. It's it's not the veggie juice, although I do drink that. It's just the Tropical Blend Mango Splash. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Just tasty. Yeah. So I had a pretty good breakfast going here. So, one of the things that uh, I kind of was going to talk about today is, is what our plan for the day is. We uh, we have to drop the mast on the boat. We're on the hard right now. We have to drop the mast and 
on a North Sea 27, that's actually a pretty, pretty straightforward thing. There's a bolt that goes through the tabernacle that holds the mast in place. And then there's the main sheet, which is all the way aft. There's the boom attached to the main sheet. And then there's the topping lift that goes to the top of the mast. And you get the main halyard. You run it down to the end of the mast as well, where the topping lift attaches. You tighten all that up. And you loosen the forward main stay, or intermediate stay first. And you go to the back and you loosen the back stay. You take the back stay down. And then you start to lower, it looks like this, then the, mat, the mast, the boom. And you start to lower the main sheet. And it, the main sheet holds up the mast as it comes down on that hinge of of the like this is the mast on the hinge at, at the tabernacle so the boom is holding it up as it goes down and then you just position it on the boat where you want it before you put it on the trailer look at this sandwich huh yeah yeah man that beats mcdonald's huh stuff. Mm. So I think we're about ready to push a plunger on our coffee. Let's go down nice and slow. Yeah. Anybody know where I can find these cups with the big bottom? This is the last one I have. I've had it for years. I can't find them anymore. And they're the best on a sailboat because they don't tip over. I don't know where to find them anymore. If you, if you do know, send a comment with a link. Tell me. All four of you that watch this video. If, if you know, two out of four of you know where, let me know. So you see you squeeze this. Works so good. I know, little things, man. Little things are awesome for me. You don't know how many of these carafts I've gone through. That That's the thing. I've gone through so many of them. And they're not cheap, those French presses. So, morning cheers. Oh, that's hot. So, I'm going to finish my breakfast. By the way, the fire is still burning. See the little bit of a little bit of charcoal in there. It's still burning a little bit. It's nice and warm in here. I've got the hatch open so I don't fall asleep forever. And uh, yeah, the little cup on top with some water in it now is sending up some steam into the boat. Life's good.